fish o's. Uh, it's been up and down, I tell you. Uh, hit and miss, this weather pattern's coming through. R sort of crappy most weekends. Uh, looks like it's going to be a good weekend this weekend. But the weather's not as warm as I'd like it to be for this time of year. Uh, a little bit on the inconsistent side. Getting a lot of reports come in, but again, inconsistent as far as the catch rates go. Hume Weir's probably been one of the highlights around this area. Not everyone catches fish every day down there, but there's some good yellows coming out and some good red fin. Uh, I'll slip down there next week myself, give it a bit of a hit. I'm looking forward to it, actually. Uh, Murrumbidgee River, not too bad. Getting a bit of activity out of there. Uh, getting a few yellows, uh, especially down below Berenbed, uh, downstream from there, in Butterjerry Channel's not bad. I mean, Creek's producing a few too, so we're pretty happy with that. Worms, definitely the way to go at the moment down there. Seems to be the best bait, without a doubt. A little efficient, a little bit on the tough side, not a great deal of activity there at all. Chermit River's not bad. I have seen it better there. It's really low at the moment, and uh, I don't mind it low, but it's real low and uh, the fish are a little bit on the shy side. Fly fishermen are doing all right though. Uh, got a few nice uh, fish up there on Tuesday on the fly myself and it wasn't too bad, some nice rainbows. Uh, they've taken a little dry fly, which uh, was a bit of a joy actually. Haven't done that for about a, a month or two, so I really enjoyed that. Flowering Dam, the odd good cod coming out of it, nothing spectacular out of there. Trolling up a few yellows up in the shallows. Uh, CC minnows or the little uh, mini minnow seems to be the most consistent there. Uh, bright colours seem to cover the options pretty well. A long way back behind the boat on the troll. A few reefing coming out of it. Um, yeah, looks all right. Uh, certainly worth the effort. Eucumbean, Jindabine, uh, Tantangra, all fishing pretty well. Uh, I wouldn't say spectacular, but I'd say good. Tintangra's been good. You've just got to get that weather pattern right so that you can get up there and not get blown away. That's one of the main things at the moment. Getting some a lot of reports from up north around uh, Windermere and Burrandong. They're going real quiet on us. They're real tough at the moment. And it's probably due to a lot of boat traffic up there, I'd say. But, again, we haven't had that hot weather. Uh, we've had a couple of few cold days up there over the last this week, and uh, that sort of slowed it right down. Uh, which is a bit disappointing, but look, it won't be long, it'll fire up. Burrenjuk, I'm still happy with Burrenjuk. Uh, there's some good fish there. You're not going to find them everywhere. Uh, around that scrubby, little scrubby area seems to be pretty good, but right up the Yass Arm seems to be the most consistent. I'd also try up around Carey's Reserve, uh, Wee Jasper Arm. It's worth fishing off the bank with bait there, but uh, soft plastics uh, around the trees should be all right. Trolling with the Burrenjuk Special, the copper spoon of the scrub worm on, on behind, usually pretty consistent there. So that's definitely worth the effort. Getting good reports from Dartmouth still, uh, won't be long, and uh, the New South Wales boars will be able to get down there with a little bit of luck, you know, so it's not too bad. All the Vic streams are fishing well. Most of our streams up here aren't too bad, uh, so it's a matter of putting in a little bit of time. Well, this is the Complete Angler's Fishing Report for this week. We'll catch you next week.